Hello guys, very good morning. We're doing uh, another trip. This time we will try to go from uh, Figueira da Foz. Well, we started in a small village on the way to save some kilometers as we did already the, from here to Figueira da Foz. But basically it's from Figueira da Foz in the middle center of Portugal to Lisbon and from there to uh, Elbas, close to Badajoz with the Spanish border. So the first uh, four stages, today each stage, so we will be on the Portuguese Atlantic coast uh, from here to Verrib to Cascais in Lisbon and then we will take a train to uh, a more inland and uh, Azambuja, Vila Franca de Sira in Lisbon from there to Elvis. We will do the Alto Alentejo region in Portugal uh, yeah, we are quite uh, excited about it because we want to finish all the Atlantic coast line in Portugal. This will be the last uh, stages. The rest we did already to the north and to Costa Vicentina in the south. And uh, we will finish this time. And then also to know the, the territories uh, between Lisbon and the, the border with Spain. The Alto Alentejo region is uh, quite unknown for me and also for my cousin and uh, yeah well, let's see how it's gonna be uh, in this uh, first stage we are uh, side by side with Mondego river it's the biggest portuguese river born in portugal and uh, in about 30 kilometers we will join the atlantic coast we will have today tail uh, no sorry headwinds tomorrow hopefully we will have uh, the tailwinds yeah so today we are a bit screwed, but at least let's see if it's not raining a lot. Today he didn't have a, a flat tire, so he has to do something always inventing new stuff so a new support for the mobile amazing look at this system two bags of the catalon here the small ones and another one here in the how do you call this and the bar bag and the frame bag a small one from the catalon everything and I this time change my setup. I put these uh, ortly bags. It should be for the front, but I attached it to the back, and it's okay. And the one handle bar from the Catalan, and that's it. Uh, and also this small bag for a, it's for bottles, but I put here the, the wallet and the, the phone as it's waterproof. Yeah, and I change my tires. I put before I have 2.0 wide uh, tires and I changed to 2.2 more stability it's a 26 but it's almost a 27 and a half because it's uh, larger and yeah we stopped by here the sun came out of it there is a, a train station over there and far away in the, the distance, it's uh, Figueira da Foz, it's uh, in, the, in the ocean shore. We are a bit inland, but not for many time. We are going back to the, to the coastline. The map from this point on we will start heading to the sea we are here lower south station apparently this is part of the st james way and also the aerovilla one we're gonna be here and then go back here all these magnificent landscapes 
Now look at this. What is waiting for us? Hey. Time covered from the wind. Look at the view for this. A repor calorias para os últimos 25 km está a ser durinho. As you can see, we are still in the same bike path. It is considered the biggest bike path in Portugal. I don't know, around 30-40 kilometers long. Yeah, it's the, the biggest one. It has nice uh, rolling conditions, as you can see, it's uh, smooth, quite well paved. But after a while it is a bit boring, not because of the infrastructure itself, but because the landscapes around. Before this used to be a huge pine tree forest. A few years ago it uh, all got burned in the huge fire. So now it's like a, not a desert, but it's almost... Yeah, look! Yeah, not the perfect landscape, but it's okay. We are doing a quite nice um, performance. The kilometers just fly away, even if we go a bit slow because of the wind. But we are uh, we are burning kilometers little by little. Yeah. Well, look at the difference with these trees. This is how it should be if there wasn't any uh, fire. Look, full of uh, green stuff. Uh, a truly pine tree forest. This is the uh, really common on this area. Um, like uh, 700 years ago, the Portuguese king at the time, Don Diniz, he ordered to plant all these uh, trees to protect the fertile fields from the sea so they could uh, have uh, plantations there and a few centuries later they took the wood to construct the boats where we found the, uh, the sea way to go to India we were the first ones the, the globalization with the, those boats and the wood was taken from these trees. Well, not these ones, but the trees at the time. This is a huge pine tree forest. But unfortunately, due to envy and, you know, a dark uh, interest, they burn everything. So the wood cannot have much value. Yeah, it's a pity, but it's a human nature. We are stupid by nature, so, well. Let's hope in the future there will be more kilometers like this. <laughs> 